Hi guys, what's poppin'? Den Russell here. For today's video, I'll be reviewing Mefapo Hair Enemy Bubble Hair Removal. Let's read what's written here first. Removing body hair from the roots. Okay, let's stop there. Any form of depilatory creams or sprays or what have you will never remove the hair from the roots. It will just chemically melt the hair on the surface. Keep skin silky, soft, and long-lasting. Hair retardant molecule reach deep into hair follicles, blocking the required nutrients to keep hair growth slow. Mild formula can relieve skin irritation, shrink pores. Hmm, I don't see any ingredients from this product that can hamper the growth of the hair. Let's check now the ingredients and what does it do. Okay, disclaimer first. I'm not a chemist, so I don't really know how to pronounce the chemicals here. So please don't bash me. Butane diol is a humectant. Allantoin is an emollient. Portulaca olaricea, it's an organic skin moisturizer. Bisabolol, it's an anti-inflammatory ingredient. Calcium thioglycolate, this is the most common active ingredient in chemical depilatories. It attacks sulfur bonds in the hair shaft. The sulfur reaction can cause a rotten egg smell. That explains the awful smell while using this type of products. So basically, this ingredient melts the hair. Cesium carbonate. I don't know what it's not for. <laughs> Hydrocythyl urea is also a moisturizer. Potassium hydroxide, it's a pH stabilizer. Calcium carbonate, it works together with the calcium thioglycolate, which weakens the hair by breaking bonds in the keratin of the hair. Polydimethylxylosine alkane, this is just for viscosity. Glyceryl octonoate, it's an emulsifier. Scoline is a moisturizer. Methylparaben and propylparaben are the two ingredients that I hate because they are preservatives. Before using this product, I suggest you wash the area or take a bath first because you might have lotion, oil, or powder in your skin that may hinder the product from working. I see a lot of people applying this on their underarms for the first time without even testing this on their arms first. That's a no-no because your armpits are more sensitive and if you have adverse reaction, it may lead to dark underarms. Yikes, so do a skin test first. Whoa, it's so messy. The bubbles flies everywhere. Now I don't like that this is in spray form. The ones in the tubes are easier to work with. I'll let it stay on my skin for 10 minutes. <laughs> it smells like hair curling lotion. After 8 minutes, you'll see your hairs curl up like this. Ugh, it looks so disgusting. It's already been 10 minutes and I'm wiping it with a damp towel against the direction of the hair growth. Wow, it works!
though up close you'll still see some hairs but that's expected i've tried so many depilatory creams and it always worked like this overall i'm impressed i don't experience any skin irritation or redness it's a little itchy but it's tolerable if you want to purchase this product, I'll provide the link on the description box. So that concludes my video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Mm hmm. Cause every color and every hue is represented by me and you. Take a slide in the slope. Take a look in the kaleidoscope. Spin around, make a twirl.